Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and today we're going to talk about short bursts of singles. I've gotten a lot of questions on this from folks who see me do this during my drum set soloing when I when I play drum set on my channel. So uh, we're going to talk about how I do that. Um, and you know, obviously, the single stroke roll is one of the most difficult stickings to do fast. And you want to use all fingers for that. And we'll show you some real heavy sticks here. These are some Coca Bola sticks, real heavy, like 90 grams. And this is what I'll warm up with every day. And I do warm up with singles. So I'll do different lengths. I'll start with fives. And I'll repeat that for about a minute, just doing this. And you don't have to go fast, you can go. The most important thing that should happen though is that stick should be bouncing freely and you shouldn't do this with all wrist. You should let that stick bounce. So I'm pushing down with my thumb. And the last one, I'm closing my thumb down. So my thumb is just about touching this finger but at the end of that stroke, it's touching my finger all the way. So once again, I'm trapping it. And you watch, you see my bottom fingers come up. You'll find if you practice with a heavy stick at first, especially in the beginning of the day, uh, which it is now, <laughs> you'll you'll be able to get your blood pumping a little quicker. And for singles especially, it works great for that. Now for you match grip players, you can see my right hand there, but same thing. At the last uh, stroke, I'm doing that. All right, but you see that space there. So there's a lot of room and I'm using my fingertips on the stick. So I would start out in sort of ascending order. So I would uh, do like a four stroke rough first. That's right, left, right, left. And then left, right, left, right. And then we're gonna add another note to that, which makes it a five, and that's right to right. Or left to left. Which is a lot harder. And then the hardest one is a group of five notes and a hit. So it starts on the right, ends on the left. All right, that, that's a tricky one for whatever reason. And then the sixes are easier, so uh, becomes six notes and a hit. You could say that's a seven stroke roll, but with singles. And then sevens and then eights now when I say eights it's eight notes and a hit so you could say that's a nine but anyway you keep adding a note it's common sense right uh, until they get longer and longer the beginning students the way I work on this is uh, first of all, we'll get we'll do it with heights. So we'll start out, and sometimes I'll have them put a music stand over their pad and try not to hit it. Because the problem with most people when they play singles, they play way too high. <laughs> okay, and way too loud. So what you need to do is basically think about six inches off the head and go slowly. And you'll want to put the metronome on. Uh, let's say 150. And again, that might be too fast for some of you, um, but again, it's going to be a single stroke roll eventually. So it needs to be pretty quick. So if you want to go slower, that's fine. Let's say we went 130. And what you want to do is make that metronome disappear. So don't use headphones for this. Use a metronome with a speaker. Uh, or, or if you're using your phone, it has a speaker too. So 
uh, evenness is what you want, which is the hardest thing with single strokes. Some days are better than others, right? But, but that's what you're going for, evenness. So I would suggest maybe starting, get, find your starting point. Could be 120, 130, whatever. And then you keep building up from there. So every day, if you raise it like four clicks, this is five clicks, 135. And you're going to hold that for five minutes, which is an awful long time if you're playing singles. You keep bringing it up and up. You will reach a point where you can't get it any faster. So like, let's say you're at a 200, which is really fast. And then you'll see there, it, you'll lose it a little. All right. Then you want to back off. So I, I usually, once I'm warmed up, and I'm not really warmed up yet, but once I'm warmed up, I'll do it around 200 for a minute. All right. When I'm done practicing, I can easily do that. But warming up, you want to go slower. And that's the way I do it. It's pretty much common sense as far as building up my singles, and especially the bursts, which I get more questions on. Uh, can you show us how you do those really fast singles that you do all the time? And that's what I call them. They're bursts. It's like a little bit of a sprint. So I might be playing... So the only other thing I want to talk about is uh, working these singles into other rhythms. So uh, I played a little of that for you earlier. Let's turn off the 16th here and just slow it down a bit. Let's say 124. So what I'm doing is there, I'm just playing a steady pulse of 16th notes at quarter note equals 124, and then I'm doing 32nd notes within that, leading with my strong hand, the right hand. So it's an improvised exercise. Sometimes I'll play groups of five, sometimes groups of eight, like that. But I am staying on the same hand at this point. And that's extremely challenging to do that. And that's the way you're actually going to use these singles within other things. You're not going to normally just sit there and play a single stroke roll, okay? They, they get worked within other things. And around the toms and all that, they can be incredibly effective and exciting to do that. So that's the other way that I work on these little bursts of singles. So I hope, hopefully this answers all of the questions that I've gotten about uh, the single strokes. It's, it's really funny because... Um, I'll do a video and I get questions which I didn't even think about <laughs> that are not really sometimes pertaining to the actual video itself. But it's fascinating, really, and I, I enjoy that. And I know that you guys pick up things that I'm not even thinking about sometimes. So, um, so like I said, keep the questions coming and we'll see you soon.